Hey MTG players, it's Eclectics again with draft number 21. We just need three straight wins to get to the coveted mythic slot. I'm excited, so without further ado, it's drafting time. We open with Growing Rights of Itlamok, which I am not taking. Well, I think it's Kaparokti here. Kaparokti more than. That is a double whammy. I don't think so. I think I'll, I'll just begin with an abraid. Yeah. More than a Kaparokti. Because a Kaparokti, sure, but an abraid is just pure. really good I'll take clack guard is also something but and also we're not passing white well red red white maybe I mean growing rights of itlamak is not a pick so I pack one pick one a braid yep again there's something to be said for kaparokti but kaparokti is meh it's a meh card we're gonna we're gonna stay on the red color see if we can cut off red plundering pirate here versus cogwork wrestler although the cogwork wrestler is great but red white is okay red black is okay here's tithing blade here's only Tithing Blade and Burning Sun's Cavalry. There's also a chart, of course, here. So, might be Blue Pass. Green Minecart. I haven't really been impressed with this one. Although it's okay because it creates treasure tokens. I'd rather have the Plundering Pirate on three than a Careening Minecart. Yeah. So, we're taking the Plundering Pirate. Huh, going with red. Hmm, black is being passed. If black is being passed, I don't mind. Join the dead. Pick three, join the dead. No, forget that. Black was also in the previous pack, so white, black. Join the dead versus Itali's favor. Join the dead is really good. Join the dead is extremely good, but if we try to cut off red, I think we'll we'll be in a great spot because these three cards are just awesome gas. Tali's favor, although join the dead again is great. Mm, I think we'll go and check out the Tali's favor. All right, rumbling rock slide here again. We're still continuing the red train. A red train right here. It's the second leech. We're taking Rumbling Rock Slide. If black is really being passed. Nope. Chance for black with dead weight, but here's a sunfire torch. I'm gonna take the, the torch. Mm hmm Petrify on pick six. I'll take red white, sure. What the heck? Zoetic glyph on seven. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that for sure. Okay. <laughs> Now we take Kaparokti. Because we can be white. We can be blue. We can be white. We can be blue. We can be. Uh, no, no, no. Zoetic Glyph. 
is pretty good. So if we can go blue red, awesome. We have Kaparokti and Petrify as a backup. So if it doesn't work out for blue, then we got these two things. So we can still shift gears to white or not. Here's a uh, Idol of the Deep King. I'll take my first Idol of the Deep King versus uh, Sunfire Torch. Can we wield the... Uh, we're not going to wield the Oaken Siren. Although the Oaken Siren would be so good. Liking it so far. Cheesy Zerg, Alex, Colin B, Benny Shanks, Clapadapa, Sithigai. We also have a chance to um, to have things just be great I'm gonna get rid of fanatical offering Off their hands trachosaur green no take that blue there's also wailing pirates don't have really green that's not an awesome green card That on one is great. Then you wheeling, you wheeling, you wheeling is great. This kind of wheeled, right? So it has a great chance to wheel. I'm going to take the Spyglass Iron here. I'm sorry, Hawking Raptor. Be good to uh, the next person, to the person that has green. Please wheel. I would really love for the Wailing Pirates to wheel. It's Spyglass Iron here for sure. Oaken Siren, please. Captain Storm would be really, really awesome. Captain Storm? Belligerent? Oh, yeah. Well, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, please. Don't mind me. Yes, the belligerent. All right. I'm not taking uh, Sahili's Lattice can go but the dinatomaton is great here is it the dinatomaton or no it's a dinatomaton four yeah 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 i've been more impressed with the dinatomaton so on the wheel brazen blade master but we can do without the brazen blade master it's fine but the dinatomaton will just really enable the hand So it's either inverted iceberg or another dinatomaton. I think I'll take my first inverted iceberg here. It's a replacement and it's a target for Zoetic Glyph. So win win. Dyn another dinatomaton. That's actually okay, but not the best. Is it a second dinatomaton? All right, maybe it's a second Dinatomaton. I really love the, the these dinos. These dinos are great. Wow, people are passing Warden of the Sky, but I'm taking Plundering Pirate here. Our second one versus a uh, Rare Draft Warden of the Inner Sky. How many do we have? We have a, a set already. We're good on that. Wait. We can still can we still pivot to the inner sky with Kappa Rock D? We can actually use Kappa Rock D if we do this. Warden is too slow. I don't think so. I think I'll still take the plundering pirate here and then maybe use Kappa Rock D. Yeah. Why not? Or an unlucky drop, sure. Hmm. 
more than a seismic monster sword. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Oak and Siren. Thank you. Pick seven. Pick seven on pack two. Oak and Siren. Yes, please. Come in, come in, come in. Do we take this? No, we take the captivating cave here. Yes, we take the captivating cave so we can play Kaparokti. Another plundering pirate. Don't mind me. Can we wield the brazen? No, we didn't wield the brazen. A third artifact. Wailing pirates didn't wheel. Wailing pirates didn't wheel. I think I'll take an unlucky drop. Wailing pirates didn't wheel. That's so sad. Why'd you take the pirate? Oh, for the, your blue white deck. Okay. All right, we need to take the cave diver here. Two fours are pretty good. Big butts. <laughs> we can definitely use Kaparati Sunborn here, but maybe we're being greedy. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Inti versus uh, Spyglass Iron. We're not going to get that back. On the wheel, what do we want? Spyglass Iron, of course. But that's not going to happen. Um, On the wheel, it's probably Ancestor's Aid or something like that. But Inti is not going to be passed. Inti will not be passed today pretty good pack there's a uh, tinker stone there's spyglass siren and there's clay fire bricks so but we're taking them and these redonkulous redonkulous okay do we go for Itali's favor here or do we go for a pretty good pirate? No, we go for Atali's favor because Atali's favor is ridiculous as well. So we got Rumbling Rock Slide, Idol of the Deep King, a Braid. This and a couple of unlucky drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have enough. We have enough. Rock, it's the saw blade or rumbling rock slide. Do we go with 24? I think we're putting too much on white. I think we're not going to do it. I think we're just gonna go with rumbling rock slide. Another one. 13, 10. I think we need more creatures. Alright. We'll go for a rampaging ceratops then. We need the wailing pirates. Really, we really want the wailing pirates. Really want the wailing pirates. This point, is that even better than our other stuff? Zoetic glyph. So that's better. Okay, that'll be better. Okay. We're not gonna do Kabarokti anymore. Darbell is Dar Flail is just so good. We now have a chance for a shipwreck sentry or a Dino Panicked Altasaur. Again we have a lot of force. And we have a five, so or maybe we just do a hidden volcano. So, open siren, yeah, sure. Second one, sure. 
Yeah, I'm not even going to think about that. Second one versus a rampaging ceratops. So we could have gone either way, actually. Red, white, or uh, red, blue. Red, blue because of the belligerent. No zoetic glyph. Yep. Can we get uh Out of spite, uh, whatever. That's actually pretty useful as well, but not in ours. Maybe we're supposed to be really, really uh, fast. All right, we gotta think about this. Inti is a powerhouse on its own, but it might be bad. Our top end is four. 2.5, so we're definitely 16, but we want fours, right? We have a lot of threes. We have lots of plays on uh, one in the the problem with the goblin is that it's um, sure it's good, but it it really really goes down downhill. Although if we start with goblin and uh, how many artifacts do we have? Twelve. It's really good actually. Do we even need unlucky drop? Or maybe we take out Rumbling Rock Slide for something else. The Shipwreck Sentry out. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. So instead of Rumbling Rock Slide, we go for Unlucky Drop. Yeah, okay. I'm down with that. Removal. Although if these were just waylaying pirates, it would have been so much better. We again have the belligerent. Please belligerent, be good to us. We have the Dire Flail, we have Inti, we have the Belligerent. We have quite a lot. Let's see if we can really, really make use of this. Do we? Yeah, 14, 20, sure. All right. We do begin. Forty one. We don't have double red, so it'll be, yep. La 
the Marines. I'm keeping this. So we can either do a braid and then equip this. It can take us with Tithing Blade. Sure, braid. Can we use the wedding cliff now? Boom. We got that. Wow, what a draw. What a draw. The belligerent being good to us. Thank you. Let's go. First again with four, again four. What are you doing to me? Alright. This has a higher thing than that, yeah. Please run out, 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 please run out. Yes, you can go Cosmo with this. Sure. I should have just cast the double belligerent. Okay, that's fine. So, the previous turn, I should have just casted the Belligerent. He went for the Cosmian Blast. Okay. We can abrade that. We can return this if he doesn't cast anything. There is the abrade. Are you Ward? It's Ward 2. So, this is kind of sticky. We're not going to do it yet. Another power on board. I'm afraid he might have uh, unstable blip. That's the only thing that that'll really wreck us right now. We're abrading that for sure. 
search and fire, sure. It's already in play, right? Does it exile when it enters the battlefield? Exile leaves the battlefield. Okay. Oh, I should have just attacked with one. Crap. With the goblin. So that I can have this for... He's gonna get me for five. Wow. Five, six... Oh, crap. Yep. Really bad. Well, well, yeah. I can get him... Yeah. He is going to die next turn. Three. What will he have is the question. Three. So I'm dead next turn. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh crap. I should not have done that. If it's a land on top, I can still play the land. Crap. That's what it was. As it is, I might die. If he has something to crew. Okay, he didn't have it. What is this? Plus one. Uh, this has to be this. Not playing the land. So he's going to crew that. If we do it Ali's favor. He can block with this, he can't, right? Nine now he's dead, so he's got a block too. The only thing he'll do is he'll three, he'll eat this. has to crew this and then block this still has to do that so he's going to lose both 
Or if he doesn't, right? He'll block this and this. Take six, he'll be down three. Yep. Yep, you can cast that. You'll crew. I'll still be able to block, and then I'm attacking for lethal. Yeah. Oh, so I should have casted it on the uh, on the Goblin Tomb Raider. So 5-5, five, five, he'll block that, but he'll still lose both. That was a punt. That was a punt. So not on the Belligerent, but the target should have been the Goblin Tomb Raider. It should have been. I hope I don't pay for it. Okay, that's what he wants to do. Bottom. He's not going to attack with it though. He can't. He just did that. He has to remove something and I have two blockers. To go up to four. Yeah, this is, I think, game over. Land, please. Yes. One. Okay, we got lucky. Because if he drew a land, we would have, yeah, died. But I think now we're we're okay. That was basically just luck. So yeah, so many things could have gone wrong for us during that game, but luckily we did not uh, get punished. So the screw up here is that we should have casted Itali's favor on the goblin, so it would trade with whatever he had with the careening mind card. That would go, and that would go. So he'd have. But the the biggest problem was if he actually explored to a two, we would have still died. So the major punt overall was. We recasted without thinking. We attacked, but we should have just attacked with one. Yeah, we should have just attacked with one with the uh, uh, with the Goblin Tomb Raider. So it would trade off with whatever was on board, but we would still have this. So we didn't have uh, to live this life precariously like this because we took five unnecessarily. He took three, but we 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 took five unnecessarily. That was really bad. Anyway, we take those, and now we're a win away from Mythic. Come on. The belligerent. Let's go, belligerent. Get us to that last sweet victory for the mythic. For the mythic. Let's go. My water is not here. Hold on. All right, let's go for it. We haven't drawn Inti. Can we get Inti, please? God hand. Uh, it'll be the Dire Flail into Inti, or a combination of the uh, Oaken Siren and then Zoetic Glyph. All right, cool. Let's do it. 
I think it's the Oaken Siren more than Inti. Here, strong. Because we can basically cast Idol of the Deep King. Or we can cycle out with Inti. It's green. But this is so gas. Such gas. We'll start with Inti then. I don't know. I don't know if this is right or no, but... Yeah. Check out the awesome rare. We are going to be discarding. Uh, Probably another Oaken Siren. Didn't get it. Discard a card. It will have to be the Plundering Pirate. White, green. It's gotta be the Oaken Siren, right? That was a land that would have been so much better. So we can do uh Idol of the Deep King here will remove this threat. It should be better, should it not? Yeah, I think we'll remove shenanigans, because that's three. Oh, oh. I don't want to cast that because of that. Yeah. That was amazing. Oh, you got the Watleys, I think. Watleys and then destroy this, sure. Nope, no blocks. Watleys. Yeah, Watleys. Destroy it and then... Alright, that's fine. So he lose both if we do this. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll lose both actually, but we still have two, right? I think we're fine. What was that? I think we got this. We got to Mythic. Here it is. Tier 1. <laughs> Limited rank Mythic. With an awesome showing for this deck. That was just... That was a beating. We just... Wow. Wow. I mean, just wow. Our opponent... Granted, our opponent had Quatlis and Trash and Bronze on, but... We had played the, uh, the Belligerent. But the, uh, the thing that was so weird was... Inti removed. It was a 2 for 1 for Inti. Oaken Siren. 8 something. 
and yeah, and basically two for one, I guess. Oak and Siren with Zoetic Cliff and Zoetic Cliff getting. Yeah, it was just a really, really good combination of, of events. The Belligerent, though, yeah, really, really, really good magic card. All right, well, we are being thick with this draft. Mm, um, all right, we got we got so we're three wins in. We're continuing. We're two hundred and eighty-two. Okay, we're mythic two eighty-two. Nice, very very nice. And since we reached mythic, we're not dropping down. Well, we're we'll drop down in mythic rank, but not in mythic. Uh, dropping down to gold. So we're safe. We're safe. And we got the Mythic in 21 drafts from Reset. Uh, yep. 21 drafts with a Reset. And we we didn't come from Mythic. We came from uh, from Diamond. Diamond 2, I think, was our highest rank from last season. Uh, yeah, I wasn't able to put in the time or the effort for uh, Mythic. Oh, no other Mythic players, I guess, playing at this time. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just re relief right now that we got to Mythic and we did not spend a whole lot of gems, which is really, really awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a match now. Uh, Mid 32 with a rank down uh, flat player. Holy moly. Yeah. Keeping this hand. Oaken's Iron with Zoetic Glyph is just, let's hope he's not red. Blue? Okay. Well, he got something for us. Putting your eggs in one basket, not a good idea, but a braid will uh, ruin our day. Got artifacts right now, okay. Yeah. Sure. Petrify is my best guess. Abuela? Yeah, that's not good enough. Petrify, I guess. Unlucky drop will be fine. Blink. I don't know what he has, but Cosmo. Okay, we're gonna do Dolly's favor here because Cosmo is going to also ruin our day. We can two for one him if he does Cosmo, right? Yeah, we have to advance the board, so maybe Compass Gnome. Abuelo's Ward 2. So this one is gonna cost us a lot. Since he didn't do it, I think I'm not going to attack, right? Unlucky drop, Lodestone Needle. Okay. Lodestone Needle is fine. Ooh, we could have actually... Alright, that's fine. What's up, buddy?
what could he have? He's uh too he's not playing things out, so he's got something. I don't know what it is. Blue it's Cosmo. It can only be Cosmo. Oh he's oh he's deciding if he wants to attack or not. Okay. That's fine. So he's going to blink this. Okay, blinking. Alright, that's totally fine. Okay, that's a great card, Abuelo, and you do have the combo with it, the Guidestone Compass. If you have the Saw Blades, you can Saw Blades the Oaken Siren right now, blink it. That's your best thing. He still wants to do this, which means what exactly? He's going to clear the board? Probably. If he clears the board, I'm okay with it. We'll have one, have a couple, and still, yeah. I think that's what he's doing. He's going to clear the board. That was really weird why he did that. Okay, so you're not clearing the board, okay, tap that, okay, are you dead? Um, four, I think you're dead, right? This is four, six, seven. Seven, eight. So if I sacrifice this right now, yeah, six, seven, eight, seven, nine. Going to do me one. Even if he blinks this and then casts it again, right? Blink, cast. He's still two, so Sunfire Torch, whatever we attack with, we just target him. Or you remove that, but we have three attackers, so two technically. If he attacks, if you don't attack, 
doesn't matter but you use up mana or you kill these things oh okay he gives up all right well that's also an option but yeah the thing is uh i think he just kept so many cards it was either unstable glyph or but he kept doing this and not removing anything on board so it, this is just basically tempo that was wrong i think yeah, he opted for tempo, but... Yep. Alright. We are climbing the ranks. With an awesome... Is it deck with the Belligerent, Inti, Zoetic Glyph, and Oaken Sirens? Right now, it is pretty awesome. Deck looking like this. We're far oh so far and loving the deck. 16 lands, maybe uh maybe not so great. I mean it's still 16. I really still think because we're squared on fours. One, two, three, four, five. And we even have uh, options to either unlucky drop or uh or rumbling rock slide. Yeah, we got a couple of rumbling rock slides instead of unlucky drops, but unlucky drops completely removes it. If if like we got if we're on the draw. And Panic Altasaur is there, and we're on 4, he's on 5, plays a Panic Altasaur, we can't remove it. Unlucky Drop, we'll go ahead and take care of that, and we can still tempo in. It's basically, yeah, better tempo. Goblin Tomb Raider, uh, yeah, doing his thing. Pretty nicely, too. Yeah. Alright, we're continuing. Alright, let's see if we can go up, 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 and away. What did we start with? I just... <clears throat> Uh-oh. Reverse is number 26. Yeah, let's do this. Uh-oh. Black. Black means dead weight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can either do this. There is a really, really strange two one. He might have it, but that's more damage for us. That might have been wrong. I don't know. But to me, it's right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be casting this, whatever happens. That's a way better target than that. Alright, sure.
so if we attack, we're screwed. It's just this for now. Maybe a four. Okay, we shifted it. All right. Three twos. I can't attack there. If we go for the belligerent, we take that out. He'll have to three three three. Uh, he he profits. Three profits. Still profits. It'll be a four, four, five. It'll be a four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. What do we have for six? All right. We're going to go and uh, do something uh, with this next turn. Or can't attack. We might. We should have maybe killed one. No, we killed a deep cavern bat. So a braid will actually be great. Okay, here we go. We can't. So for sure. Mm -hmm. Heal 100%. Kill this, it'll be a 4-3. It's still bad. It's still bad. Okay, nope. He is uh, waiting for the belligerent. Uh, yeah, to be active, so he can kill, uh, kill it, for sure. That's uh, join the dead. Yeah, to join the dead. So if I attack with this, huh? I'm happy just doing this. <laughs> Two four.
Didn't play a land, right? Yeah. Or did we? You have three blockers. I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six attackers on two life. And I'll be able to remove one. Seven. You need seven to survive. Yeah, it'll be like this at 26. That was guaranteed. So because he's not going to gain uh, 3 life, it's 3. If we attack all, even if he blocks the highest, this is the highest. He can't block this. Yeah, he'll block this. Uh, he'll block this. It's 4, 7. 7, 9. Awesome. What do we get? 282. Did we get some ranks? I think we got some ranks. 214. Hey, we're at 5 wins. Yep. The decision in the last game to... Uh, to attack with the uh, the thing and kill off one of the uh, the tokens, it was crucial because we needed to get him very very low. Yeah, very very low. In any case, we had uh, we had it right. It was at seven. We could have actually flipped the uh, the bat and then taken it and then just uh, yeah, yeah. Because there was no way he'd uh, be able. All right, well, who's ah? We had nil. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think we're waiting for a long time now because we're in Mythic. Yeah, the wait time is kind of not awesome. Entering that match. We get lands. We got one land and the belligerent. That's an obvious not deep. Sure. Uh unlucky drop? Probably. No. It's the land, sure. That's fine. Oh no. No. Not improving. We're not gonna be able to block it now. One's gonna die if he gets a counter. Yeah, he's attacking. No box. <clears throat> Frumbling rock slide. Okay.
What do we do with this? Okay. Iceman goes down and we got to 190. Cool. I really would like to be able to think and actually say something, but I think it's it's causing me to not be able to think properly, so I'm keeping quiet. I do apologize for no commentary, but yeah. Um I'm deep in the think tank, but all right, I'm going to try to see what I can do with regards to just saying something, because it is awesome. We got to 190 now. What I would like to strive to do is actually keep on hitting the mythic ranks each and every, uh, each and every month. It's good practice, and also, uh, yeah. It'll be great content for the site. Wow, we're waiting over a minute for our game. All right, we got a match. Are we on five or six? We got Inti. Yeah, we're keeping this. Only one blue card with red cards. Playable red cards. But that. Yeah, that's not great news. That means. have any uh play as well join the dead on inti yeah wow another person oh, so close. thank you very much hmm trading three for siren with this i think it's bad all right So yeah, we're not blocking this. We'll be able to cast it next turn again. Oh, come on. Ah, well. We are strapped on land. Two removals. Join the dead and 
Kind of late. All right. Well. It's going bowling off. Definitely just do that and then at no. We have to do it because we need the Tali's favor or unlucky drop or something. <sighs> so very bad. behind if we had just drawn a uh, land so again another loss attributed to very very bad land drops we uh, got to the lands i think four lands or five lands in a row from what i saw being revealed but yeah he's, he's attacking and we can't do nothing about it even if we block this yeah we're just gonna be okay trades and then no, he's even going to do that. All right, well, that just seals the deal. Julio. And we even mold, I think. We even mold, for sure. Well, we can survive this turn with an unlucky drop. But what does it really do? Because we already played the land for turn. Unlucky drop is the only thing that, that's going to save us. So even if we go uh, 3 equip this trade off, I think maybe it's okay. Alright, that's step 1. Is this 3? It is craft 3. Removal will, will really... Oh. Well, yeah. If he does that, I just die, right? Yeah. So there was a way for me to not die, which is to... Yeah, but there's no way for us to, to do anything about it. Like, Yeah, it's still three. So... ay ay ay. That was not cool, Magic. That was not cool. It's not cool at all. We're at six. We just got our first loss. Okay. Oh, yeah. And the loss was not because of misplays or anything. It was... We didn't draw lands. It was on six lands. We were, like, on three. If we even got to four, we'd have the belligerent. Sometimes it's really, really like that. We didn't even draw our plundering pirate. Really got to take a look at the hand then. Yeah, definitely. We, we're not starting though. Oh, even better. Wait. All right, we'll start with this. The reason is we can equip it with the goblin. But we can do that with the goblin as well, if we draw the goblin. So we can't. There's no way for us to actually get in with this. So we're going to hold it, right? And we're not trading with these things, so we're going to take 4 again, 14. 
in the next turn we can yeah do something about this yeah no block for now if he removes it though we're kind of screwed okay we're great we are awesome Perfect. Our hand is pretty good. Counter on target I gain trample until end of turn. Decline. I decline. Got black, green, red. Whoa. John? Is it John? Not so familiar with the uh Yeah, the, the, I'm really not familiar with the color combinations, so excuse this, but yeah. Inti attacks. Wait, do I have an artifact here? Yes, I do. And we can go ahead and craft that and... Okay. Is it terror time? Ooh. Does it have life tank? It does have life tank. Oh no. Oh wait. He crafted it with the dinosaur there? Sheesh. Oh. Do we just win here? Because we can't target this because it's hex proof. Um. He has to, right? So if he blocks this, 7, 8. Mm -hmm. What else could he have? He can't have anything else.
What is that? Oh wow. Oh wow. And we can he has to attack here in order for this to uh to be okay. This is equipped too. If we craft this, right? Craft. Twelve, I think we lose. Yeah, we lose. We should have. Oh my God! Yeah, sacrifice a non-land permanent. Uh, we can't, right? He's gonna go up to nine. Wow! Holy crap! He's gonna go up to nineteen. Yeah, we can't do anything. We should have blocked it. We should have blocked the... Huh? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. That's so good. That is so good. I Yeah, I just... It came out of nowhere. It just really came out of nowhere. That just came out of nowhere. I just checked it right now. It came out of nowhere. Like, the dinosaur he had, though. What did he exile? Yeah, he had... I should have blocked the dino. Oh, it was a 4-2. It was a 4-2. I couldn't. Even if I blocked it, it wouldn't have mattered. Even then, if he he was able to craft, yeah, yeah, that's just the luck of the draw. All right, well, so the first loss was because of land. This was not because of land. This was a uh, <laughs> opponent just playing really, really well, and yeah, us getting killed out of nowhere. Like in a million years, I wouldn't have uh, thought about uh, that thing. But him drawing very well as well. Like he drew Watleys, the perfect card for what he has. Yeah, he drew Watleys with a lifelinker. So, yeah. A trade is what what, what uh, we were just looking for a trade. But instead of uh, a trade, well... He would have gone up so much. And the problem with that was it was hexproof as well. Because if it wasn't hexproof, we could have just went ahead and crafted the uh, that thing. And then, yeah, gone in for the win. But because it was hexproof... We couldn't do anything. And plus him drawing Watleys, it was really, really bad for us. Really, really bad for us. I should have thought about this. So, we lost one damage. Might actually be white green. I'm slowing it down. He has something. I'm trading. The only thing that'll kill us is saw blades, and yeah, we got it. Seven two still, but really, really tough matches, especially the uh, oh, the surprising win with uh, number thirteen. We still got to two hundred and thirty-two, which is great. And the most important thing is that we got to mythic with this deck. This is an amazing deck. It is amazing.
It's really, really wow. The belligerent just was just awesome. Dine Automaton, yeah, I believe in the Dine Automaton. It's really, really good. So, yeah, the throne. If we drew a braid, that was our out, the abrade, but we did not draw the abrade before he transformed it. Well, man, and he's, he was, oh, man, he had, uh, yeah, he drew very well. He just really drew very well. He had poetic ingenuity <laughs> where he got the dino from. And he even was able to put a counter on the dino. And we couldn't trade with it. That was just so bad. Anyway. Maybe we should have shifted the uh, the thing. But even if we shifted the thing. Ah. Uh, it was. It was. Yeah. It was disgusting. I thought we were really ahead that game. But turns out. Nope. No. But he drew really well. Because he had exactly the card that he needed. To not just survive. But to get ahead. Which was Watley's final strike. Watley's final strike really just it erased it erased our uh, our damage eight yep hi yeah yeah anyway uh yeah i'm very happy with what we drafted idol of the deep king plundering pirate a couple of itali's favors zoetic glyph being passed to us Oak and Sirens as well. So we really found the open lane. Especially when we got the Belligerent. That was so surprising. I don't even remember what we picked one pack one. We also got past an Inti, by the way. And the Dire, dire Flail? Or is it pick one pack one? I think we picked... First picked what exactly? don't remember anymore but there was even a choice between spyglass iron and another great card and we took the spyglass iron and yeah turned out really really well so this draft has the dire flail the inti the belligerent um uh, zoetic glyph and yeah it just really really gelled very well we even have kaparokti here but not required for what we were doing yep overall yeah i draft this deck again it's just so good even unlucky drops with reactions this would have been okay as a uh, brackish or this Unlucky drop four at four is kind of hefty, but yeah, you either they have to recast it, number one, and the other part of this is that they either redraw it or they put it at the bottom. Either way, you just get it out. Yep. And incidental artifacts with the siren. If we had, if Inti was Captain Storm. It would have been fine because we would have gotten so many so many counters. Incidental artifacts, look, the spyglass siren. We got three of the plundering pirates and the belligerent as well, creating the uh treasure tokens. It's ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And by default we have twelve artifacts, yeah. So yeah, overall I, I really love the deck. I draft it again and yeah, build it like this. And yeah, let's go ahead and claim. Oh yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. We hit Mythic, so what's next? Check out my next video where I look back at the drafts that got us to Mythic. And again, if you have better plays, Comment below and let me know. Like and subscribe for more Magic the Gathering content. I'll see you on the next one.